All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode six. Yeah, this is episode six of DIY Diaries. We're out here. Got a few people here hanging out today. We're gonna get this little spine thing built. I don't know what I would call it, but I've seen a video on Instagram. If you're familiar with Keen Ramps, I think it's from Long Beach. But yeah, he has a business called Keen Ramps and he built this wooden thing and I was like, yo, that'd be sick. So I hit up Mikey and I was like, we should build this. So we were just up at Bunnings before we got all the gear. We're about to slab now, we're about to get into some work, so yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, check out the other DIY videos, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. I reckon here in Wollongong, best DIYs in Sydney. Unless someone else has a spot. I didn't want to pinch your finger there, bro, eh? Hey. Yeah, that would have hurt. Thank you very much. No worries, sir. Ah! Watch your hands, bro. That's probably the worst thing about it. Taking shape. Taking shape, all right. Ah, it's gonna look hectic. Alright guys, we got most of the way through building this spine, pyramid, coping thing. I don't know, what would you guys call it? I don't know what this thing's called. I'm gonna go grab some food right now and then do the rest after we get back because we need to eat. It's lunchtime, we're getting hungry. Shouts out to uh, Bunnings. We got two high-vis shirts and a beanie from Bunnings for free. So ask for freebies up there. So if you're a tradie and you go to Bunnings, at the uh, trade service counter, just ask me if they have any freebies. I'll show you the beanie I got. I got this free beanie from Bunnings. Check it out, it's green, it's got a, the Bunnings logo on top. <laughs> Young Jamie's here today, and uh, he was telling me he used to skate this spot back when he was a little kid. I'll throw in some clips that I found on the internet, that he provided to me from the internet. What did you used to call this spot? The ghetto waffle. The square waffle. Because the restaurant used to be called Square Waffle and it, the owner burnt it down, so they used to call it the ghetto waffle, now it's called the slab.
بپوشم As you can see guys, we've been putting in the work today on this spine pyramid thing. I don't know what you would call it. Let me know what you guys think it should be called. There's probably a proper term for this obstacle feature, but um, I don't know what you'd call it, a wedge spine thing. As you can see, it's uh, coming along quite swimmingly. Had to make a few adjustments because um, we had to make a few adjustments just to get all the pieces of wood to sit correctly against the frame. We just watched that Keen Ramps video and uh, decided to do our own thing with it. So, you know, if you guys want to give it a crack, make something, build something for your little DIY or have a DIY project in mind, just do it. Doesn't matter if you screw up a little bit, you can still kind of find a way for it to work. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing something. Last and final screw. There you go, bro. Alright, guys, as you can see, we got this wedge fully knocked out. It's completely done. Um, just cleaning up a little bit now and then we're going to skate this thing, have a little session. Still got a couple hours of daylight up here, so this has been a pretty successful DIY diaries. The last one sucked because it rained and we ran out of time. Quarter pipe was hard because we ran out of time and then it rained the next two days, so this has been the most streamlined DIY diaries. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Before I wrap up this video guys, I'm going to show you this stair set that everyone keeps commenting about and asking to fix so we can skate. I'll just show you guys real quick. So this thing isn't really uh, skatable. I mean, there's no run up. You'd be running in across the slab here, dropping down and then ollieing off. And then the landing isn't too crash hot either. Sticks and rocks and cracks and stuff. Um, and then we have all these branches in the way also. In theory this would work, but it's just not really practical. I guess I could do it, but I just can't be bothered because no one's going to really skate this set of stairs that much anyway. My friend ollied this gap though from here down to here. Mars ollied it, but I don't think anyone's like too keen on skating this set of stairs. You think this set of stairs is skatable? You don't think it's skatable? Someone's done it. Have they? Yeah. When? Oh, not straight. Yeah, do you reckon you could ollie it straight? Mate, you are dreaming. You can, yeah, you can ollie it off here. Yeah, Mars did it down to there, but if you're trying to ollie straight off the stairs, yeah, it's a rough, rough ground, guys. It's not like smooth or anything. Yeah, it can be deceiving, yeah, I mean, it looks in the videos, it might look like you can skate this thing pretty easily, but it's quite the opposite. If you guys want a fully comprehensive tour of the slab, let me know in the comment section below. I want to see how many people are keen to uh, have a complete tour 
including the top, everything we've built, and then around the sides and underground. No one's really seen under the slab yet, so if you guys want a tour, drop me a comment below, let me know. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of DIY Diaries episode six. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I usually post the behind the scenes stuff to my Instagram. So if you guys are keen for more content, make sure you head on over and follow me at Enochism. There is an Evening Mob limited release hoodie drop going down today, guys, if you are watching this in real time. If you're from Sydney, at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, the Evening Mob drop is going to be live on the Evening Mob website. And if you guys are from the West Coast, say California, it's going to be at 8 p.m. for you guys. Be sure to head on over to Evening Mob on Instagram. Make sure you follow that page and turn on post notifications so you know exactly when the drop is going to be. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shouts out to all the new subscribers trying to hit 10k. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos. Cheers for watching the video and I'll catch all of you all in the next one. <laughs>